mean, it's, it's all night. It's all night. Oh, no. See what the uh, station is doing. Okay. Let's see which one you need to get the bus station. Okay. streaming good enough, you know, it's streaming good enough, it ain't perfect, but yeah, I mean, it's streaming pretty good though. Uh, it might have a little bit, sometimes when you're dealing with like a weak signal, you know, it will have a little bit. It's gonna be fine though.
I want to hear so I can cap it ready. Okay. So if I back it up a little bit, it's gonna be. You know, I have I have them come right here. Okay. I'll tell you what I do. I make them. I just. I just I'll make them do two steps. How's this? That'll work. That'll okay. Work. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm trying to figure out who told us. Uh, that's the photographer. I, I'll let him know because uh, he's gonna be out the way. Like he can't move it to the side. When they walk with him. They come straight down and they stop it. Okay. I'll let him know.
got four to two. Huh? Yes. Just for the color guard, I don't know what everybody else is doing. No, I mean for the color guard. I think so. I think so. Yes, sir. The uh, photographer. Yes, ma'am.
Super. Co tak? Co się dzieje?
Major, major, major move.
Good evening. Good evening. Let us prepare to pray for our graduates. Let us bow. Heavenly Father, we ask today that you surround those who are graduating with your grace. Bless them with hope so they move into the future with eager and open hearts. Help them to put the knowledge and skills and insight and gain through their education to use for the good of humankind. Most gracious and awesome God. Oh God, I ask now, God, that you will look beyond every graduate fault and see their every need today, God. Oh Heavenly Father, I ask that you will look down on their parents, look down on the teachers that has guided through them. Father, we just need you right now to touch, to shower down your anointing all over this building, God. Father God, let us begin today to love as though it's our last time we're going to ever love. Father God, as we smile today, let it begin as we're going to smile today as is our last time we're going to ever smile. Father God, but we come now pleading the blood of Jesus over every graduate in this building, God. That you will keep them safe from all harm and danger. Oh, Heavenly Father, as they leave this place, God. Father, that they go on into the world, Father God. We're asking right now, God, that you cover them with your love. Oh, God, we're praying now with every parent, God, every guardian here tonight, God that you would just loose the shackles that have them bound. Father God, help them today, God, as they leave this place, God, but not your grace. Continue to shower down your anointing on the Wilkerson County School District. Every teacher, every faculty member, God. Father, we just want to give you all the praise and all the honor, God. Loose right now, God. In the name of Jesus, no other name, but the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Tony Chisholm Jr. It is an honor to stand before you as the class of 2023 salutatorian. I welcome you to Wilson County High School's graduation ceremony. Tonight, we come together to celebrate our journey and our accomplishments. We have grown together, learned together, and faced challenges together. So tonight, we celebrate the memories and the friendships we have formed along the way. As we look back on the past four years, we cannot help but feel a sense of pride for all that we have achieved. From academic achievements, to artistic victories, to artistic triumphs, we have so much to be proud of. However, tonight is not just about celebrating our individual accomplishments. It is also about celebrating the bond that we have formed as classmates. We are a class that has come together in the face of adversity, and we have emerged stronger and more united than ever before. Therefore, as we celebrate tonight, let us remember the dream that has brought us here with hope and optimism. Again, welcome and congratulations, class of 2023. Good evening. I am Janita Stowall, and I am here to present to you the 2023 class guest speaker. Dr. George Christopher Cage is a native of Woodville, Mississippi, and a proud graduate of the Wilkinson County High School class of 2006. Dr. Cage holds a Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Administration from Jackson State University, a Master's Degree in Elementary Education from Alcorn State University, and an Educational Specialist Degree and PhD in Educational Leadership and Research from Louisiana State University. Dr. Cage is a former teacher of nine years and a district math coach for the East Baton Rouge Parish School System. While Dr. Cage currently serves as the assistant principal for Audubon Elementary School, he is a math curriculum writer for Reconstruction U.S., a company based in Boston, Massachusetts. 
Among other memberships, Dr. K is a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Inc., the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics, the National Council of Supervisors of Mathematics, and the Louisiana Association of Teachers of Mathematics. Additionally, he serves on high stake test review committees and on the state of Louisiana and national level. Dr. Cage's re current research agenda encompasses a broad spectrum of critical areas in the field of math and science education, the field of testing, closing the achievement gap among children of color, and the best usage of math and science pedagogical practices surrounding retention and success. Dr. Cage worked relentlessly to advocate for educational equity through volunteer work, mentoring, and tutoring students in the Baton Rouge community. Throughout his years in education, Dr. Cage received many accolades and awards and had the opportunity to develop many teachers and principals in curriculum and instruction. Dr. Cage is a highly respected individual in the Baton Rouge community. His generosity and devotion of time to good works are unmatched as he, as he is committed to improving the BR community. His future aspirations are centered towards striving to impact the educational arena on a massive wide scale. Graduates and attendees, I present to you Dr. George Christopher Cage. Good evening. In case you all are wondering, I will not be long. <laughs> all right, first, I would not dare not start without giving honor to God my savior the reason why i live breathe and move today is because of him and i thank him for this opportunity second to my wonderful parents who are here in attendance today to the superintendent bradford all the other distinguished guests here today and mostly important to the class of 2023 let's give a round of applause This is the reason why we are all here today. You all are achieving this wonderful milestone. And after today, I can assure you, as everyone else in here today can, uh, that graduated can also say, your life changes after today. After your high school graduation, your life tremendously changes. It was 17 years ago, I can remember sitting in the third chair right there Shout out to the class of 2006 if you ain't here. All right, all right, I hear you. <laughs> We're still waiting on our picture to be up in the hallway too, by the way. <laughs> all right, so again, I sat in that chair. I had no, no, I didn't think, not one possibility I would be where I am today, having a PhD and being able to be in front of you today speaking. I'm incredibly humbled. But one thing I can say that I know that I did have, you know, sitting in that chair, I did have self-determination. I had the mindset that whatever I seek to accomplish, I will do it. And also in being confident, I can do so. And as you get older, class of 2023, your self-determination, it has to increase. You no longer have mom or dad pushing you. You have to have it for yourself. You have to be more, you're gonna be more independent and you're gonna have to push yourself. So right now, I'm just one to always reflect. Class of 2023, I just want you to reflect right now and just think about your story, the biography of yourself. And we all have one. And just think about your story up to now. The Bible says that we live our days as a tale that has been told. So again, right now, think about your story. Right now in your story, you're at the point where you've reached a milestone, and now you're getting ready to head into another chapter, into your story. Reflect what took place. What is the reason for you being here today? What did it take? For some, it might have been hard work, for some, maybe it was a breeze. Some have persevered to, through many of life obstacles and hardships. Some might have even endured, and I know some have endured the loss of loved ones, but you're here today. And I want to, just for a second, just shout out, shout, make a shout out to my very own cousin who is in this class, Courtney Bazique. 
I just wanted to say a little bit of, I can remember getting a call from, I think it was my, either, either my mom or dad saying, you know, that the doctors had gave up on her. But look at her today. Nobody for God. Which brings me to my next point, having God on your side through your journey. And I can say for myself, God has opened so many doors for me that I can, can't even believe it. In spite of what people told me, in spite of what I might have thought of myself, the favor of God, I know that he was with me through my journey. Opportunities came for me in which some I know that I did do it on my own, but it was all God. So, as I said earlier, your life changes after today. You are headed to the next chapter in your story. You may face different or even more intense challenges down the road. But you need, as I said, the self-determination. You need God on your side. And also you have one more thing, and that is perseverance. Persevering through your, through your various obstacles as you journey. Greatness comes from persevering. You can't let the trials and tribulations of life get you down, nor could it make you want to give up. You have to keep on pushing. And once you do so, be a living example for someone else. Tell your story. Tell your experience so they can see if they excel, then I can too. In my journey, I know there were several, several instances where I was delayed in even achieving what I want to. But thank God I was not denied. So in my closing, again, I've already asked you to reflect about what it took you for to get here. Now I want you to think about how you want your story to unfold. Remember, you are in control. Will your story read, you didn't give up, although it was tough? Will it read that you accomplished what you set out to do? Will it read that you were an example, an example for many? Will it read that you were delayed, but not denied? Remember to let self-determination, God by your side, and perseverance guide you in achieving your goals. Class of 2023, repeat after me. It's only up from here. The best is yet to come. Thank you all for your time and your attention. It is, again, my indeed pleasure for being here once again, being in my home, Woodville, Mississippi, a proud graduate again of Wilkinson County High, class of 2026. I thank you all for your time, and that's it. Congratulations, class of 2023. Go on to be brilliant. All right. feel a mix of emotions. On one hand, I am excited for what is ahead, 
On the other hand, I'm sad to say goodbye to the administrators, faculty, staff, and my classmates. I want to take a moment to thank everyone who has made this journey possible. To the teachers, thank you for your guidance and support. To our friends, thank you for the memories we have created together. To our family, thank you for always being here for us. As we move on to the next chapter of our lives, I want to remind everyone that this is not the end. We will face challenges. However, remember, we are equipped with the knowledge and skills we need to overcome them. We will make new friends, but we will never forget the ones we made here. Although we will always remember the memories we created together, I encourage each of us as WCHS graduates to bravely accept the challenges that lie ahead and what has been instilled in us to make a positive and constructive impact in this world. As we celebrate our achievements, look forward to what is yet to come. Thank you and best of luck to everyone as we face our future endeavors. Good evening. Good evening. Class of 2023, please stand. <laughs> Superintendent Bradford, I have examined the records of these students and determined that they have met all the graduation requirements of the state of Mississippi and the Wilkinson County School District. And I am pleased to present these students as graduates. Mr. Benson, on behalf of State Superintendent Mike Kent, the State Board of Education, on behalf of Governor Tate Reeves, the Wilkinson County School Board of Education, and school district, including the cities of Woodville, Centerville, and Crosby, I, Chavis Bradford, Superintendent of Education, do proudly accept these students as graduates of Wilkinson County High School. with all rights and privileges as graduates of this esteemed institution of excellence. Congratulations to the Wilkinson County High Class of 2023. Class of 2023, you may be seated. Okay, you can keep it. Hold on, hold on. We're going to do something different this year. We're going to start a tradition here in Wilkinson County. I know most of y'all are going to be going into the real world. So on behalf of Mr. Benson, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you your first real working dollar. So when you come through, you'll get your first dollar. the class of 2023, to say this one word, and that word is moment. moment. Say it again. Moment. The moment that we all been waiting for is here. We're gonna get ready to get started for the graduates. The class valedictorian, Jamin Lissier Cooper.
Mr. Benson. On behalf of Courtney Mazie, your classmate, she and her family have made it possible for each graduate that is here tonight to get a free CD of class night. After this graduation is over, please see Courtney Mazik and her grandparents over to my left. Thank you. Thank you. 